Right now we're going to go to Michael from Dublin. Hi, Michael. Hey. How are um, you? My uncle was involved in a car wreck with a log truck, and uh, the log truck was sitting at the red light 45 seconds mm -hmm. to a minute, and uh, according to witnesses, and uh, my uncle went in, was approaching the red light too fast, and he ran into the back of him, mm -hmm. and... Uh, you know, he wants to say it's th their fault, but police report says it's his fault. And I was wondering what the log company could do to defend themselves. Okay. What the log company mm -hmm. could do? To defend themselves. Well, they, uh, Michael, they probably won't have to do anything. Uh, the first thing that anyone should do, whether it's a logging truck or, or just a regular person out there, is turn it over to your insurance carrier. And your insurance carrier will go out and investigate the accident. And that is, if, you, if it's claimed that it's your fault, turn it over to your insurance company. They'll go out and investigate the accident. Uh, you might even consult an attorney to get a, a second opinion on that uh, if you feel differently than what the police report says. The police report is not the where all to be all. Just mm -hmm. because the police report says you're at fault or not at fault does not mean that that carries the day. So that's the first thing to remember. Mm -hmm. But your the, the logging truck insurance carrier in that particular case is going to go out and protect their interest. Mm -hmm. And they'll get statements and they'll look at what happened and a determination on fault will be made. But from the sounds of things, if the log truck was sitting at a red light for 45 seconds and someone ran into the back of them, the only issue is really going to be whether if, if it was nighttime conditions, right. whether they had lights. Uh, oftentimes, a, particularly with a log, you might have a log that extends beyond the mm -hmm. trailer and you should have flags or little lights on the end of it. So uh, those are the kind of issues you need to look at. All right. Thanks for your call. Welcome back, everybody. If you'd like to reach David Bullard, here's how. He's right here in Macon. You can reach him with Edwards and Bullard Law. And the number is 478-254-3519. Or visit his website at ed edwardsandbullardlaw.com. And Mr. Horn is also here in Macon. He's with Reynolds Horn and Servant. You can reach him at 478-405-0300. Toll free 1-800-537-3238. Or visit Wendell's website at reynoldsinjurylaw.com.